Shalom. I'd like to say all praise is due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson in regards to the the Belgium slavery. Alright, um, you know, the atrocities that was committed against our people, man, over there in Congo. Cause many of our people, you know, are scattered, you know, through uh, West Africa, you know, and um, you know, certain parts of Africa, you know, where the bulk of our people are scattered, and um, our people have suffered great atrocities at the hand of these Edomites, man. All right, and um, this is just a quick image you know what happened and you know over a uh, hundred and some odd years ago man you know and um you know so our people were you know when you go to Deuteronomy 28 could get that you know we were um we had a yoke of iron all right so not just uh what was happened to our people over here in the americas Right, um, you know, um, you know, the same atrocities happened over there in Africa, man. All right, because we fell. All right, and um, you know, so this is what happened. I'm gonna get Deuteronomy 28. Then I'm gonna get Obadiah. All right, because these are the curses that will befall the Israelites if we disobey the Heavenly Father. All right, but if we obey the Heavenly Father, we will be blessed. All right, from Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 28, from 1 all the way to 14, you know, it, it goes into, um, you know it will go into the blessings if we if we are blessed right if we uh obey the commandments of the heavenly father and then the curses which will befall the israelites if we disobey the heavenly father all right so it shows you that the you know the, these people in the land the state of israel right now like they don't even follow the torah or nothing you know like they follow the talmud but um and like that's why these pe the people in the state of Israel they're blessed, you know, like they run the world. Unfortunately, you know, because they don't want, you know, because they're on the, uh, because they're on the hot seat right now. But it's true, like you run the world, you know, Job nine twenty four, the earth's given to the hand of the wicked. You run the world, you ru you run the media, you run everything, you know. You run uh, all types of industries. You know, and uh, and they're blessed, right? Because uh, Genesis twenty seven, you know, it it would talk about uh, when um, when Isaac, right? You know, he basically he, he he like he blessed Esau, right? Because you know, because Jacob he supplanted, like he supplanted Isaac, you know, for you know, like for the blessing, you know, when you go to Genesis twenty seven, you read that. You know, and then basically, uh, Jacob supplanted Isaac for his for you know, like for the blessing, which was already set up in the spirit, man. All right, and um, could get that after as well. But I'm gonna Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And so this is what happened to us, man. All right, we fell. You know, we were, you know some of our people were scattered. But for the most part, um, you know, our people were over there in, uh, you know, the land of Portugal and Spain, 
you know, a lot of our people fell, you know, and a lot of our people established colonies and tried to go elsewhere. But, you know, but we, like we were being persecuted and then, um, you know, the transatlantic slave trade, you know, that like that industry started booming, you know, and they basically, uh, you know, we fell. Right. And, uh, you know, where people were rounded up on slave ships, right, and uh, sold, right, and, um, you know, it says, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, yeah, so we're the only ones who have the. Uh, who have gone through these atrocities, man. All right, and, you know, we could see this right here. We could see that, you know, that these guys have the yoke, have the yoke, man, around their neck. All right, we're, you know, and they have our, like they had our people walking around naked, man. You know, Chopping off the young and the old hands, you know, the men and women. All right. So they have a lot of atrocities to like to pay for, man. These Edomites, atrocities. This is off Wikipedia. Atrocities in the Congo, Free State. In the period from 1885 to 1908, many. Well documentary Salaka. Many well documented atrocities were portrayed in Congo Free State. Today the it says it says today it says it says today the Democratic Republic of the of the Congo, which at the time was a state under the absolute rule of King Le of King Leopold the second of Belgium, right? So this these were either mighty man. Alright, and um they came, you know, through uh you know like to um uh, to Congo or whatever and they uh and they Hellenized or they like we were colonized, right? And um, I'm going to read about this, the guy, uh, King Leopold II of Belgium. These atrocities were particularly associated with the labor policy used to collect na natural rubber for export right so in so like that's why these people they were you know like they were uh making money man you know by collecting you know like like things of natural resources you know so we know that um you know these uh these tires these car tires everything's you know a whole bunch of different resources man are um they are being extracted man you know through congo and and africa certain parts of africa and uh and we're being we're being colonized right now right and and they and and they're st and we're still being um you know like congo right now is like for the most part people are catching hell man all right i was watching a documentary you know there's a uh, there's you know there's a lot of jake who's uh who's who, who's successful over there but for the most part people are catching hell man all right and um says uh it says together with epidemic like stuck it says together with epidemic disease famine and falling birth rate caused by those disrupting the atrocities contribute to a sharp a sharp a sharp decline in the Congolese population 
the magnitude of the population fall over the period is this like a, is disputed with the modern estimate range from 1.5 million to 13 million right of our people who were atrocities like who were who suffered these atrocities man all right so you now people want to talk about oh oh your aunties you're anti-Semitic or whatever, but you know, but they don't want to talk about uh, the atrocities, or what happening, you know, to the real Israelites, to the you know, like to the Israelites who, who like who's being persecuted, man. You know, the real Israelites who's being persecuted, man. You know, they, they want to call you anti-Semitic or whatever. All right, like I went, like I word Semitic, as well. You go into that word Semitic. They say, oh, you go into that meaning on Wikipedia, whatever is going to say Afro, uh, you're going to say Afro Asian or whatever, like, you know, all kind of bywords, you know, that Esau thing. So he, he, Esau knows, man. All right. And you have, a, you know, you, you either might have a lot of atrocities, man, a lot of things to pay for, man. All right. At the Berlin Conference of 18, 1884 to 1885, the European powers allowed most of the Congo Basin regain to is like a to a supposed like a, a supposed like philanthropic organization run by leopard the second and Zaka run by Leopold the second who had long held ambition for colonial expansion all right so these are these uh these damn colonizers man all right, who uh, who punished our people, man? All right, and they even have a chocolate over there in Congo. All right, where they basically, it like you know, like they're making money. All right, you know, of 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 chopping our people's hand. See that? See these evil minds, man? So you either might have a lot of things to pay for, man. You know that the book of Obadiah is the shortest book. Is the shortest book in the scriptures, man, about your about the downfall of Esau. Alright. And um I'm just gonna, gonna go to this, this scripture quick. Obadiah 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man. So after that thousand years of, of slavery, man, you know, like you're going to be cut off, man. There's going to be no more Esau, man. All right, because you have, you have violated, you know, like the brotherly covenant. All right, because, you know, because when he, you know, because when, you know, when Isaac, you know he gave Esau his blessing, all right. Because you know because Jacob got his blessing. You know he he like he supplanted, <laughs> he supplanted. You know he was suppl You know and uh, um, basically um like that's why his name was called Jacob or Yaakov, which means supplanter, right? Because he you know he he like he supplanted. You know uh his mother. Uh, his mother Rebecca, you know, uh, uh, like for the bre um, for the blessing, all right. And then Genesis, when you go Genesis twenty five, like he, you know, like Esau already sold he, he, like he already sold Jacob his blessing, man. All right, so he always had that grudge in his heart, and that's why they hate us to this day, man. You know, even though we're at the bottom or whatever, like they want to try to like try to get rid of us, man. Yeah, you know, like, but you know, but you know, but the heavenly Father, he's gonna, he's gonna rise up, Jacob, man. 
all right and he's gonna you know because uh second ezra's six uh to nine it says uh for esau the end of the world right so yeah this is going to be the end of your world esau and the jacob's beginning of it that follow it man so we're going to be the next ones who's gonna who's gonna have the power and the dominion you know to rule all over again man all right when we uh let me play this quick this is uh i said did you hear about the congo hollow yeah like yeah like this guy's uh jake you know but he's bugged out and dreads or whatever he has but um he has this damn uh, gold teeth and all kind of tattoos but you know this is off tiktok but uh you know he has a lot of he has like he had a lot of good information man in regards to this man and like so um like this is a real holocaust man all right you know, like this is the real holocaust man because you either might did a lot of wickedness man onto our people you chopped off you know like our people's hands you know like you lamed our people man you know so 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 these either you know like so these either might like like you know like you have a lot of atrocities to pay for man Right, and that's why in uh, Revelation thirteen verse nine, for his, uh get that quick. He that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. Yeah, let me just get the other one and butcher. Revelation thirteen and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity, alright, so we were led into captivity, right, through the transatlantic slave trade, alright, um, you know, e even the Latin tribe, the northern kingdom, right, you know, Gad and uh, Ishakar and, you know, you, you so-called Mexican and, you know, you know, like there was a transatlantic slave trade too, alright, and, and, and like a lot of our people were, uh, our pe uh, like a lot of our people were on ships, you know, like being brought to Spain, you know, Portugal, and uh, you know, and uh, and to other colonies, you know, like through the like on um, like through Europe. All right, so you know, so we suffered, man. So now it's gonna be your time to suffer, right? Because everyone has their, you know, every uh, Psalm seventy five, right? Um, I'm gonna get that after. It says he he that leave into captivity, shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yeah. So Esau's the he's the bloody man, man, and and he, and he and he slaughtered our people. He chop off hands, you know. And they do a you know like they they, they I'm like they did a lot of atrocities against our people, man. All right, so you like so you Edomites, man, you have a lot of atrocities, a lot of crimes to pay for. Thus saith the Lord, man. So I'm gonna just play this quick. Oh, let me just get Psalms. I think Psalm seventy-five. Cause this is all this. This is the Holy Spirit. The the Holy Spirit that's, you know, that I'm able to go through this. I'm, you know, Psalm 75, verse 7. Uh, but God, or Yahweh, is the judge. He putteth down one and set up, up another, right? So every empire, you know, from, uh, you know, from the image, right? You know, with, uh, uh, on the, which Nebuchadnezzar, right? Like he, he had a, he had a dream. All right, when you go into Daniel, all right, Daniel, uh, Daniel 12, or the like at um, that Daniel 2, you know, when Nebuchadnezzar, that the Magi and all these different, like, magicians, you know, l l like, they didn't interpret it, uh, 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 like, they didn't know how to interpret that dream, all right, but Daniel, all right, Right, he like he was uh you know like he was guided by by the Holy Spirit, right? Because he was an interpreter of dreams. 
all right and he interpreted the image all right as to what it means right and um uh, you know and basically we're living in the, in the time of daniel's image right or or like or the the image of nebuchadnezzar right and um basically um you know the you know the babylonian empire all right which would be uh you know like king nebuchadnezzar all right which would be like the like the golden which would be uh like of gold all right so like the head all right and then uh let me get that quick Nebuchadnezzar So lucky like, yeah. And then um I'm just gonna show it just Yeah, this is the image of yeah of Nebuchadnezzar, right? So this is um, the head of fine gold. This would be the, the Babylonian Empire, and, the, and of uh, the breasts of the the arms with the Medes and the Persians, all right? The belly and the thighs. So the Macedonian Empire or the the the, the Greco and Roman Empire, all right? and basically they're you know now the legs now the legs right basically is um you know like the modern day roman empire that's revised all over again right you know with nato right with their military right and uh the, the and the whole union the european union right and uh, their toes right now, all right, which would be like the pigs, right? Um, like Portugal, um, Italy, Ireland, Greece, and Spain, you know, like they're falling, all right. So, um, so like the rock, right? Because basically, like they're at the feet, you know, because their toes is at the feet of the rock right or the stones right and basically like when the lord comes he's gonna like he's gonna he's gonna take the kingdom and he's gonna you know and like and, and this whole image is gonna be broken man all right and that's why uh i want to get i to continue to read this and then go to daniel 2. psalm 75 verse 7 let's talk at psalm 75 verse 7 but Yahweh is the judge, he put it down one and set up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture. Alright, that's why I saw, I mean, Isaiah 63 and 1. You know, it says, Who is this that coming from Edom? You know. And uh and like and like that's why the Lord's gonna come and he's gonna pour out that that he's gonna pour out that mixture, man. All right, and he's gonna judge these uh, Edomites of their atrocities, man. And like that's why this whole uh, what's going on with the Ukraine and you know and Russia through um, America and it and it Italy, I mean Israel, whatever. Like you know, like this whole thing is is being stirred up. You know, this is Ezekiel thirty eight. All this what I'm saying is is all biblical. It's all it's already written, all right, in the scriptures, man, and it's coming to pass. But the dregs thereof, all the weak of the earth shall wring them out, all right. But I will declare, but I will declare forever. I will sing praises by to God of Jacob, all right, and that's what we're going to be singing praise, man. You know that when the elect is going to be beamed up, you know, into the into the chariot. Or the so-called IFO, you know, so-called, uh, so-called identified flying objects, <laughs> right? And all the horns of the wicked, 
also will I cut off but the horn of the righteous shall be exalted so we're gonna be exalted man the elect the one third is gonna be exalted man because Yahweh Shai is gonna he's gonna honor his his elect man all right let's see Daniel 12 and 1 Because we're seeing at the because we're seeing the end of their toes. Alright, and um that's what's gonna happen man. What's luck? Daniel 2 and then I believe Daniel 9 but I'm gonna slack here yeah. Daniel 12, no, it's like a Daniel 2 and uh, started at uh, 43, verse 43. And uh, whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as the iron is mixed with with mixed with with clay right and we know that the clay which would be the pigs right the pig nations right portugal you know ireland um italy greece and spain like they're they're very weak right now right like um financially all right but you know they're you know other um european nations right who's uh who's very strong right now um greece i was talking not greece um on like germany you know certain certain other european state who's uh who's strong right now right but there's other nations there's other um like like, like the pig nations who's uh Who's, who's weak right now and in that in that day of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and all the kingdoms shall not be left to other people but it shall be breaking pieces and consume it and consume all those kingdom and it shall stand forever right so this is gonna be the time when the lord yahweh shai is gonna come and he's gonna establish a kingdom man all right because this place is gonna be ultimately broken man. whereas as thou sawest the stone was cut off the mountain without hands and and that is that it break in pieces the iron the brass the clay and the silver and the gold and the great great god or yahweh have made and known to the kings which shall come to pass hereafter and the dream is certain 
and the interpretation thereof is sure, right? So we know that this time when the Lord's gonna come, right, and He's gonna break in pieces, man. You know, you know, uh, like that whole image, man. All right, because we see that, like, we're living there in the time of this, of this image, right? And we're at the toes, all right. And that's why we're gonna, like, we're gonna take this, you know, uh, 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 like we're gonna take his, uh, his, his foot, you know. That's why, um, Second Ezra's. Six. Second Ezra six verse eight. Sorry, seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the part and sunder of times, or when shall be the end of the first? Alright, so we know that the prophet Ezra, alright, he's saying what shall be the, you know, like it says, watch or shall sell a guy. Then answer I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first? Right? We know that Esau was the first, right? He's the firstborn. All right. All right. But the Lord, he was dealing with Jacob. All right. The same thing too, right? With Cain. Cain was the firstborn too. All right, and he's and the Cain slew his brother uh, Abel. You know, but Abel, um, you know, you know, but it, um, it, it like Abel came through Seth again. All right, and um, the sons of God, you know, is still uh, is still alive and thriving. All right, through Noah. You know the whole line, right? All the way to to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right, and the twelve patriarchs. Right? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. All right, so we're gonna take his, we're gonna take his whole dominion. All right, because you know because Jacob was he, he, he like. You know, um, Rebecca, all right, Isaac, or it's like a, um, that Esau came out first, all right, but you know, but you know, but Jacob, you know, like he, he came out after and he took her, he, and he, 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 like he basically, like he took, like he, like he came out after, all right, and he, and he grabbed the heel, all right, so this is like, this is, um, like metaphorical. All right, and we're gonna take his whole dominion, his power. All right, because your because your heel is where your power is lied. Right, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it, the follower. So we're at the end of Esau's dominion. Right, so we know that this is gonna be a, like a trading places, man. All right, and um, and like no, like that's why this whole this whole controversy with uh, Kanye. You know Kyrie Irving and and all that. You know is stirring up the people. Is stirring up our people. Stirring up these Edomites, right? Because these Edomites, they're like you know like are saying you know like what if you know like what the Israelites is saying is true, right? Which it is true, man. All right. So like that's why um they're trying to um you know like they're trying to blackball us or you know but it's like like you can't stop you, you, you can't you can't stop the truth man like you could do nothing for the truth but you know but you can't uh you can't stop this thing man it's like let me just play this again this is this guy I said, did you hear about the Congo Holocaust killing 50 million Africans? Yes, 50 million Africans. Double of the Holocaust that they teach us. And of course, they never taught us this. Viewer discretion is advised because I'm going to show you a lot of real graphic photos, but I got to show. Yeah, and this is for educational purposes. And this is true, man. Like They slaughtered our people over there in Congo, here in, Amer in the Americas. And stuff, man. So you know, so these devils, man. They have a lot of crimes to pay for, man.
light on the truth on what's going on and what happened to our people. Just so you know, the definition of a holocaust is just a destruction or slaughter on a mass scale. Let's take it back to 1884 at the Berlin Conference. European nations, including America, tried to scramble for different parts of Africa. And of course, the African nation was not there. After this conference, murderer Leopold II gained control over Congo. This is after he manipulated 500 of the native chiefs to sign certain contracts, confusing them because they don't speak the same dialect. This granted him access to full control of the Congo, claiming that he was going to bring modern technology and advance the Congo, which was... Yeah, you see, and, and like, that's what he, he does, man. That's what Esau does, man. Because he's smooth with his words, right? And, like, that's how you always, like, got our people. All right? Even here in the, uh, in the, with Gad, here in, you know, here in Canada and America, you know, with all their treaties and all that shit. All right? And deceiving our people. Um, Psalms 55 verse 20 He have put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him He have broken his covenant And that's what Esau has done Alright With uh, You know Even um, e e e Even after Jacob got the blessing You know like Jacob had to flee Alright And go to um, He'd have to Like he went to Laban you know, and then Laban, you know, he basically had, um, you know, Leah and then Rachel. All right. So basically, uh, eventually, you know, he came back, whatever. And, he, and then Esau, he wasn't, uh, because, you know, because Esau wanted really to, like, he really wanted to kill, kill uh, Jacob, man. You know, but he basically, uh, he came you know, like he, he came peaceably, you know, to Jacob. But, uh, you know, during the fall of, um, of, the, of, of like the, you know, like during um, time of Jerusalem, you know, like when we had the temple, all right, and um, the Babylonian Empire, or like, or like the Babylonian, King Nebuchadnezzar came, and um, they came, and then Esau, he basically was pointing out that he, you know, he was, he was, um, basically controversy. He like there was a controversy, and they came, you know, and they and like and they um, and they pointed out where our people were and things and so on, so to speak. But uh, yeah. No one going to Second Ezra is the first chapter goes into that right. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords, man. And that's what Esau is. Esau is very cunning, right? and um, he's very crafty, right? You know, but they will stab you in your back, and that's what ha always happens to our to our people, man. You know that when you that when you're amongst these uh these Edomites, man, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee, and He will shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, and that's why, like you know, like we're not gonna be moved, right? Because um, you know, like the Lord's gonna like He's gonna lift up that standard, man, right? Because you devils wanna try to, you know, like try cut us down. You know, and that cut us off from being a nation, man. But it's not gonna happen. But the but thou all Mosai Yahweh shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days. But I will trust in thee. And play this again. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't really plan to go so long, but uh, it's a spirit. Let me just continue.
Instead, he was extorting these people for rubber, forcing them to scrape rubber off the vine, and sometimes it would get on their body and they would be forced to scrape it off. Murderer Leopold was so brutal, it honestly mind boggles me that we don't learn about him in school at all. Not only did he steal Africans and use them as soldiers and put them through Catholic missionaries so then they would be brainwashed to be brutal soldiers, he would force them to torture the natives if quotas wasn't met. One torture was a whip made of hippo skin. The hippo skin made it dry and it had sharp ends, so then when they would whip them, the cuts would be so deep. 25 whips was a regular... Yeah, so you see all this shit what the Esau did to our people? You know, that's why it says, um, it says, Thy heart shall meditate. Tears. Yeah, meditate. Let me put that. Meditate. that there's a scripture it said thy heart shall meditate terrors let me find it it's lock here Things in my car, I think. Isaiah thirty three and yeah, 18, yeah. Isaiah 33 and 18. Yeah, this is second uh, as like Isaiah 33 and 18. Thine heart shall meditate terrors. Where is the scribe? Where is the where is the receiver? Who is he? He that counteth the towers, right? So um Thou shalt not see a fierce people, a people of deep speech, then thou canst perceive. O oh, of a stammering tongue, thou thou canst not understand. Look upon Zion, in the city of our solemn, our solemn solemnity, thine eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation and tabernacle, that shall not be taken down, nor at slaken. Not one of the, not one of the stakes thereof shall be ever be removed neither shall any of the cords there be broken man so yeah so we're not going to be broken man you know like when the new jerusalem is going to be set up you know like which we are the new jerusalem all right all right because you know because we're being awakened who we are now all right and uh like when the lord comes around he's gonna um he's gonna build us back all right and we're not going to be broken anymore you know and we're gonna be like meditate terrorism man. you know of uh you know of how to you know like punish these wicked man you know like for their crime man 
uh, so like meditate haba to mourn to mourn grow grow other muse right and we're musing right and we're you know because we're speaking of your crimes your atrocities what you've done up against our people man you know like you whipped up our people you know with all kind of different kind all kind of torture and stuff man so you devils you have a lot of things to pay for man crimes 25 whips was a regular and 50 was a death sentence another way of torture if quarters weren't met was to be shoot them with one bullet and cut off their hands to show proof that they did this this happened so much that cutting hands became currency cutting off hands from women to children all people cutting millions of hands off 1897 murderer leopold brought 266 natives to belgium to open up a human zoo having 40,000 people come a day to just look at these certain africans showing how they would work at the end of this holocaust it was estimated to 10 to 50 million deaths of course it varied because they were not keeping track they obviously did not give a fuck to keep a track so who knows it could be even more now tell me how the fuck this wasn't yeah so all this right like you know like they know who we are man because a lot of these people of congo they're israelites all right and uh i believe like uh like when we were starting camp right in like 20, 2009 all right there was always a guy he was a congo a guy from congo and uh, he would always come by you would say you know he's uh you know he's a uh, congo he's from congo you know uh, i don't know where he is now but um uh, he would always would come by and he would listen you know like to the words man and um you know, he was talking about, you know, like how they, how they were practicing, um, like circumcision, you know, on the, um, the eight and the eighth day. All right. So, um, a lot of our people, they're, they're, uh, they're Israelites, man. People of, uh, Congo. That's why I'm going to have this, uh, have this book. All right. Which uh, I'm sure all you brothers have this, all right, for you, for you uh. You know, because this is a very good book, you could buy it as a as a as a PDF, or you could buy it. Right? You could buy it for very cheap from Babylon Timbuktu, written by Rudolf R. Windsor, which is a uh, Jake Israelite, and uh, he's a historian, and uh, he, he and he goes into the, about the Jews, or right? people from who were scattered through West Africa. You know, and uh, this is a very good read. This is a uh, page 127 from Babylon Timbuktu by written by Rudolf R. Windsor. It says, uh, in the country called the, called the Gabon near the Congo, there were black Jews known as, all right, which then, you know, not black, all right, just Jews or Judah, all right, because black just means, uh, you know like black it has a black it has a a bad uh taste you know when you go when you look at that word black right known as bum bayamba some some writers calling by a various name such as boy bavamba or mayamba or mayamba or mavumbo mb Abe Poyar, a French writer, says that these Jews held the coast of Lango between the Congo River or the Rio Muni in, in Gabon. In 1776, their country began, it says, in 1776 their country began about 60 miles from the coast and extends north from the congo about two miles of the mile it says in the appearance these black jews are hardly distinguished from the other africans right because we were distinguished right because we're different they we have a whole different way of culture and 
you know, and how we were conducting ourselves because a lot of them, they were practicing, you know, the Torah, all right? All right, but a lot, you know, like a lot of our people were uh, were living in West Africa, certain parts of Africa, but there is Hamites there in those lands too, all right? Like you Ethiopians and um, it goes into, you know, because there's a, like, you know, because there's a distinction. It says, um, in appearance, these black Jews are hardly distinguished from the other African Jews, right? Even though they're dark or whatever, but they, you know, like, but they have a whole different spirit, man. All right. Like, you could see that we have a whole different spirit from the Hamites, man. It has been reported that these black, it's like it is reported that these Jews practice some divination and magic like native Africans, right? Because a lot of our people, they were doing all kind of different stuff, you know, call upon spirits and all kind of stuff, right? However, they observe some Jewish ceremonies and lived in separate separate communities and not consideration themselves native african right so they knew who we like you know like so they knew who they were like that's why when you read about uh the judites you know and the benjamites right which uh which would be in fort judah all right or wider or judah all right and uh fort benin or benin all right Benin, all right, which mean Ban, Banyam, all right, which would be son of the right, Banyamian, all right. These villages of these Jews are saturated along the Longo coast for more than 100 miles, even, even south of the Congo River, all right. It says, uh, let me just fast forward Jews it says uh says it says God be right that when they are introduced it's like a, when they are inter integrated when they are integrated in regards to their origin some of these Jews said they migrated from the south it said probably angola some from the north it says pro, um it says from some from south it says it says probably angola some from the north it says probably nigeria all right because they, we, a lot of our people were scattered because some of our people they they were migrated a lot of people migrated, you know, from from uh, like Portugal. Some of our people went to certain parts of the world. Some of our people went to the West Africa, all right, Angola and all that, and est and established colonies. It says some of these others of the mountains. So perhaps the Ethiopia. So even these, uh, you know, these Kushites or you know. You know, like a lot of our people were amongst them, living in those lands. All right, and that's why the Lord, He's gonna be, uh, He's gonna get. That's why, like, there's gonna be a, a like a gathering of the elect. All right, and 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 His remnant. All right, when you read about Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. All right, over three thousand, you know, years ago. You know, it's gonna it's coming to pass right now. These writings, Isaiah eleven and uh, start at ten. And at that time, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for the ensign of the the people, and it shall. So yeah, so we so the root of Jesse, all right, the house of David, all right, who comes out that line. All right, we know that, and and we know that the Lord Yahweh, right, He comes out that same line. All right, 
a lion of Judah, right? When you go to Genesis 49, it says, Judah is a lion dwelt, who shall rouse him up? And the scepter shall not depart from Judah till Shiloh come. It says, uh, To it shall the Gentiles seek, and the rest shall, and and his rest shall be glorious, right? So the, like the Gentiles would be the Israelite foreigners, all right? Like that's why you have to go into certain root words when it when it goes into that word Gentiles, right? So Gentile, which means it go why, all right? It says uh, our usual non-Hebrew people are descendant of Abraham of Israel, all right? It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. So we know that, you know, when the Lord, when he, when he delivered our people from the land of Egypt. All right. And, uh, you know, and, you know, because he, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he, he, like he plagued, you know, like the Egyptians, man. All right. And, uh, you know. He used Moses and Aaron, you know, to lead our people from the, that land, all right, and to go through that Red Sea, or or not the Red Sea, but the Strait of Hamus, right? From it says, and it shall come to pass that the Lord shall set His hand again the second time to recover the remnant of His people, which shall be left from Assyria, so Assyria, which be in the land of Iraq in that region. From Egypt, there's a lot of Israelites down there in Egypt. From Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the Isles of the Sea. So our people were scattered through the whole earth, man. It's a diaspora, man. And that's why we're cursed. You know, we're catching all kind of hell. You know, even when we, we, like when we live in these different isles, like these different lands, man. All right. And we're at the bottom, all right? That goes to Deuteronomy 28, verse 16 to 68, man. It goes with that. And he shall set, shall set up an ensign for the nation and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. All right. So... Our people were scattered, man, especially Judah, man. All right. The envy of the Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah, right? So we know that Ephraim, which be like you, uh, like you Puerto Ricans, you know, the whole northern, like the whole northern kingdom, man. All right. There's going to be no more beef, no war. All right. And there, the adversaries of the Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy. Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Right? So yeah, because the whole house of the whole um is is Amos nine. All right, you get that. Yeah, this is all. Uh, I didn't really plan on to really go so in depth. Amos nine and um, eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power is upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. All right, this place, all right, this is there is a, 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 like a sinful kingdom, right? Even two thirds, you know, our two thirds are partaking in this sinful kingdom, right? So the Most High is going to destroy it, man. He's not. He's going to destroy, um, you know, he's going to destroy Babylon, you know, and wherever else our people are scattered, you know. You know, but we know that America is ultimately going to be uh, like memorial. You know, because it's never going to be dis it's never going to be built up. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all the na all nations as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So yeah, that's how like when you're sieving something like a pot or you see, you know, and you're, you're trying to, like you're trying to, 
like you're trying to get rid of like the undesirable grain whatever you know like that's what the lord is going to do unto us and he's going to he's going to save us all right and he's gonna uh he's gonna give our he's gonna basically when you go zachariah 13 you know like we're gonna be tried as gold you know some are gonna be tried like gold some are gonna be tried like silver you know but um with that, I'd like to say all praise due to you. How about Shemir Ashari, the ones of the Apostle of Great Millstone? Yeah, this is all. I didn't want to go so long, but uh, hopefully this was edifying. And uh, yeah, so with that, I'd like to say all praise due to you. How about Shemir Ashari? And I'm going to run this. So with that, Shalom. This is for educational purposes. And with that, I'd like to say Shalom. What other group of people went through thousands of years of slavery and a holocaust and still has a country in poverty? Now tell me what other country was up for grabs with no discussion of the people that were living there? Who else went through this shit? And you gonna tell me it's not this important to be taught this in school? We read books, we go in depth about all these other races and all, all the shit that they've been through. But when it comes to us, they try to kick that shit right under the rug. But you know why? Because every other nation is responsible for this holocaust. Every other nation was there at that conference trying to grab for Africa. And accountability would mean they would have to tell the truth. The truth how everybody in the world was against us. Nobody helped us in this situation. Nobody's gonna save us but us.